Hi, I'm Roger Wagner, Superintendent President of Victor Valley College. Welcome to the April edition of In Touch, In Tune. I hope everyone enjoyed their spring break and came back refreshed and ready for the last full month of the semester. Let me start by telling you about a really exciting event that Victor Valley College has decided to co-sponsor. In partnership with Desert Valley Hospital and the High Desert Media Group, we will be recognizing the best of the desert high school athletes. The All-Star Preps Best of the Desert promises to be a memorable event for the athletes and everyone in attendance. Our special guest for the night will be Marcus Allen, former running back for both the Los Angeles Raiders and the Kansas City Chiefs. So mark your calendars for June 10th. I've mentioned this before, but we are getting closer to having a valley-wide dual enrollment program in every school district that operates a high school. Memorandums of understanding are going to at least two districts this month, and the rest will follow next month. We are working hard to bring our area's high schools the academic programs that support their individual needs. I want to give my thanks to our interim dean of instruction, Mark Clare, for doing the heavy lifting on this program. On April 11th, VVC hosted the 2017 Youth Poverty Symposium. Nearly 200 high school and college students attended the event, which was held in the Student Activity Center. The symposium was the work of Community Action Partnership of San Bernardino County. Dr. Tyree Kuanada, local teacher and past VVC president, spoke during the opening general session. After the general session, students attended breakout sessions that included poverty and public policy, civic engagement, and voter registration. Other presenters included Assemblyman Jay Obonoti and Marcelino Garza, Special Assistant to San Bernardino County Superintendent of Schools, Ted Alejandre. On Saturday, April 22nd, VVC was the host site for the March of Dimes March for Babies event. The event was led by Desert Valley Hospital CEO and VVC Foundation board member, Fred Hunter. The march raised over $70,000 that will go towards research to fight birth defects, as well as supporting families. I'm extremely proud of the fact that our college supports this and many other community efforts throughout the year. This month, I was also privileged to be able to participate in a leadership development seminar in San Bernardino. It was led by Dr. Ken Blanchard. Dr. Blanchard is considered to be one of the most successful management experts in America. He has authored several books, including The One Minute Manager. I was impressed at just how often he mentioned servant leadership, my personal leadership model of choice. The training was provided by the California Schools Risk Management Joint Powers Authority. If you haven't visited the library lately, please stop in and see the newly upholstered furniture and the new carpet on the stairway. The outside atrium also received a facelift in the form of a new paint job. It's amazing what a coat of paint will do. Thursday, April 27th proved to be a busy day, but a rewarding day. In the morning, the Victor Valley College Foundation hosted the 2017 High Desert Economic Summit. The two keynote economists included Chris Thornburg, director of the Center for Economic Forecasting and Development at UC Riverside School of Business Administration. We also had Dr. Sean Flynn, associate professor of economics at Scripps College. This well-attended event gave those in attendance a glimpse into what our economy and jobs market will look like in the next few years. I want to thank our foundation for all their fine work to make this annual summit possible. Later that same day, we were treated to a speech competition put on by the Communication Studies and Journalism Department Chair. The three to five minute speeches were on the topic of how well my time at VVC impact my future. The competition was stiff and each student had a compelling story about VVC and its impact on their present and future lives. I'd also like to give a shout out to Professor Lisa Harvey from the Biology Department. Her biology students had a great showing at the West Coast Undergraduate Biological Research Conference. The eight VVC students competed in two groups of four. The first group competed in an oral presentation and won first place. The second group presented in the poster presentation and took second place, but only one point away from the first place team. It's important that I point out that the competition was truly stiff. They competed against students from USC, 
Cal Berkeley, UC San Diego, and UCLA. Congratulations to Professor Lisa Harvey and her very talented students. VVC will be hosting the annual Relay for Life on Saturday, April 29th. Again, an event that the college can say serves more than just its traditional students. There is a very slim chance that any of you watching this have not been impacted by cancer, either through a relative or a friend. Best of luck to the Relay teams as they serve our community in this very worthy cause. Finally, I want to tell you about our All Staff Day that was held on Thursday, April 13th. All members of the classified staff and managers participated in a full day of training and professional development. We had two general sessions and several breakout sessions in the afternoon. I want to share a family story with you. Not my personal family, but about our VVC family. At the conclusion of the first general session, there was a raffle held that gave everyone in attendance a chance to win some really great prizes. What only a few in the audience knew was that the last prize was a setup. Thanks to the wonderful work of Margie Sandello in the Student Services Office, a GoFundMe project was launched weeks before All Staff Day to help a member of our VVC family. Over $3,000 was raised by college employees to buy a mobility scooter from one of our own who has been having mobility issues. Patty Witt was totally surprised when she won the very last prize of the day, only to find out that she was receiving a gift from her VVC family. It was a proud and emotional moment. Thanks to Margie and all of our college family members that helped make this possible. Before I close, there is a department chair shout out. This month from Professor of Theater Arts, Ed Heberlin. Ed? Thank you, Dr. Wagner. Welcome. I want to tell you about a show that we have coming up. It is Neil Simon's Hysterical and Touching California Suite. It'll be playing in just a few weeks in our Black Box Theater. Those dates are May 5th, 6th, 11th, 12th, 13th at 7 p.m., May 7th and 14th at 2 p.m. Look at this poster that Scott put together for us. Thank you, Scott. Anyway, make sure to get your tickets early. We have limited seating. It's a wonderful show, not for the kids. Anyway, thank you. Have a great day, and back to you, Dr. Wagner. Thank you, Ed. That wraps it up for this month. Have a great day.